everyone, welcome back. And before today's video starts, thank you so much for Playmobil for sponsoring today's video. I'm super excited to show you Playmobil's Pony and Horse Farm Ranges. I've got two of the sets to show you here first. We've got the Playmobil Horseback Riding Lessons, which is very, very cute. And I spotted this little, little mini pony in it. That's cool. Well, very similar to Cloudy. And in the horseback riding lesson set, it features two lockable horse stools. I've just got someone mucking out in this one. The stables are so beautiful and detailed. They actually look quite similar to my stables, which I keep popcorn in with all the bars. So at the stables today, there is a riding lesson going on and this little girl here is helping out with the riding lesson. She's picking up the poo whilst this beautiful Appaloosa is having a lesson. Everything is so realistic and detailed. We've even got a little butterfly, a bird, a tiny mini cat. And then I love the rugs with the patterns on them. They're super, super cool. And I'm also going to show you the grooming box because the grooming tools inside it are like actually grooming tools. All the things that you would use on a real horse are here and everything that I've basically got for popcorn is in this grooming kit. And the next set I want to show you is the riding tournament. So we have two people competing and it looks like they're doing the lap of honor right now. Can you clear it? Yay! And I've actually got some blocks like this for popcorn. They're burgundy um, and they're so similar. We've also got some white wooden ones in real life like these as well. And it is just so so real basically we've also got a videographer here mum this is you you can set up your own jumps which is really fun you can set up a small upright if you were teaching a beginner how to ride and jump then you've got a bit more advanced which is a bit like what i do on popcorn and then this is like full professional olympic level i can just spend my whole entire day playing with my toy ponies setting up jumps, mucking out, riding, teaching lessons, and I'm still having a super horsey day, even though I'm not even with the ponies. So next up, we have the car with the pony trailer. So we're off out for a hack today, and we've got the trailer, and this little boy is about to load his little small pony. He's a bit naughty going in the trailer. Off they go. Beep, beep. So this is the last Playmobil set I'm gonna show you today. It's the Mobile Farrier. It's got a UV pretend fire that you put the horseshoe in. So I'm gonna put it in the bucket. I'll put it on the horse's foot. Check out Playmobil's website for everything Playmobil. These are just some of the wonderful horse and pony Playmobil sets that Playmobil has to offer. Now let's continue the rest of the vlog. welcome back and today I don't even know where to start no and I don't know why I'm holding this <laughs> uh. so this is the state that we're currently in with popcorn stuff we have already taken most of cloudy stuff out we've already or organized everything of his which is so much better now but now it is the big task of, of popcorns popcorn stuff so we have got this new tack room container which is amazing it's always been here but it wasn't doing anything so we're very lucky that we've now got this to put all of popcorn stuff in but this, this the reason why it is so bad like so like not very organized is because we haven't actually organized it i had all the stuff moved into it while we was away in dubai and it was just put in here so it was out of the way because what had happened was you know we had those four shelves, those metal shelves um, in the grooming room. Well, there was like more liveries coming and they needed the other shelves for the other horses. So we had to keep giving the shelves back as the yard got busier. So yeah, it's actually never been organized in here. So I don't want you to think that we're super, super messy. It was just because 
it just got put in here and then we've had to wait till we've had a little bit of time and a free day to sort all of this out. But yeah, the first thing I think we should do, Harlow, is just empty everything. I'm gonna have some big okay. shelving units put in here. So Grandad's here to help us today. I like the putting away bit. I'm not so keen on the... Uh... I like the emptying out bit. Oh, you like the emptying bit? Oh, yeah. I like the, the actual organising bit. It's my favourite. Put them on the floor in their house. Why? Because it's wet. <gasps> no, 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 no. Uh, the floor's still a little bit wet. Come on. Where do I put them? Just put them on a shelf. <coughs> and then. Right. Oh, oh. So, what's going where then? Do you think we should have all like the wire together? Yeah, that's what me and Carmen did. Yeah, like like one Loire. No, I want the pile. names the right way. One Loire pile and one like Catholic pile. So um, I think here needs to be suede GP. Or oh, I think actually suede GP needs two shelves. Okay? So let's do suede GP down here. Yeah? Okay, let me see if these... Anything random, put it up here, then we'll find a home for it. We've also got um... to get rugs on these. So let's not go crazy. Okay. Put it on the floor. Yeah. I'll, I'll do this. I'll do this one. Okay. I should go get some more. Yeah. Right, Haz, I think I'm actually just going to let you do it because you know where you want it all. Yes, yeah. that is very true. I'm just the um, carrier here. <laughs> so we've got kind of a suede GP thing going on here. Then we've got all our Loire's here. And then we're going to have our dressage on the shelf below. Oh, it's looking amazing. So I think let's put this here. Wait, with no doors on it? Yeah, no doors, because those doors were annoying. Perfect. Then we can put all the uh, shampoos and stuff on there, yeah? Right, now we're going to put all of the potions and lotions. So we've got this little storage unit. We had this from our old yard, and it did have doors on it, but we've just taken the doors off it because we don't need the doors. The plating stuff. The hoof oil we can put this here. This is going to look like a little tack shop. I know. We can actually start selling stuff. <laughs> so Grandad is just making space for another one. The shampoo there. I've got even more big... I've got another big bottle of shampoo. That shampoo there. a lot of naff shampoo. No, put all the two shampoos at the top, Harlow, like this. No, because we... No, 
I'd like to be able to see all the colours, babe, like rainbow. <laughs> Still a child, aren't you, Mum? We'll put it like that, though, because it's pink. Okay. So most of, like, the shampoos and stuff are in here. And then I've also made a little box for, like, clipping the clippers and stuff and the sprays. And then I'm going to get some other boxes here to have, like, spare bits and spare bits of tack. We've also got like an empty grooming kit in here, nothing's in here, so. Yes, yeah, so we could probably put that on the top of that unit. We could put it on the top of there, yeah. actually. Perfect. Wait, Mum, wasn't this your saddle pad? Um. Yeah. No, mine was the half pad one. That, that's popcorns, I think. I'm going to put some treats on this shelf. It's actually coming along really nicely. Right. It is, it looks amazing. Should we get the wooden, is the wooden this table? This has got to be the last organising session of the year. Yes. So I'm just making a bit of a bigger box to put spare Oh yeah, this is the brow band in. that Popcorn came with. Yeah, I think these are the reins that he came with. Oh, these ones, I buy these ones. Oh, that is to go on that, actually. I think I might put this bridle back together. Wait, which bridle? This. We just need, like, loads of different bits and have, like... I know, but it would be easier. We end up using the same bridle a lot because otherwise you've got to keep changing the bit. So we just need to go to, like, Averley and buy everything, like, the, buy the same Yeah, but the bit bits. that popcorn wears is really expensive. I know. Oh, I'll just put one thing on back to front. That's so annoying. Ugh. I absolutely hate putting bridles together. I remember when we went to our first show with Popcorn and I bought him this really lovely, like, rosette brow band. It was really gorgeous. And we was in such a rush one day <clears throat> going to this show. We was late. It was late for the class. And I asked someone at the yard... Oh, could you quickly put this brow band on? Uh, because I'm in, like, in a massive, massive rush. They put it on, and when we got to the show, and we were already really late, and the steward came over to us and was like, are you going to come into this class or not? Uh, because we're like, everyone's waiting. And um, I went to go put the bridle on him, and the whole thing was like back to front, and I was like, oh my God. So stressful. But yeah, he got into the class. And we sorted the, we had to sort the brow band out. The whole bridle was back to front. So yes, I, that has taught me, if you've got anything to change on the bridle, got to do it the night before, not on the day. Perfect. And then this one hasn't got a brow band on now, but those brow bands that Harlow loves, the sparkly ones, they just have got little poppers and they clip on. So that's another one done. They haven't all got rain. So if she did want to use them, then we've just got to put reins on and a bit on <gasps> that's all going moldy <gasps> oh my god that's disgusting my, hold on that just take vile. that chain out just chuck it i'm not touching that no that's disgusting how have they gone moldy i don't actually know it's not even like wet oh, and damp in there no, it just, it's just had no not hair. this one this is like mummy's vintage one it's not vintage yes it is can't it's believe, you're, I can't believe you're actually touching that, Mum. I'm not. I'm touching the, the fresh one. The fresh one. Oh, it stinks. That's disgusting. I mean, we haven't touched it in like eight months. Ah, oh, that's gross. So this is a rug that he came with and I decided to keep it because when we're washing stable rugs, it's nice to have one that he can wear. So we keep that just for the spare. Well, I, um, I wanna say we're halfway there. 
And I, I feel like we are. We're, we're, we're halfway there, aren't we, Mum? I, I hope so. <laughs> Mum's just believing in that we're halfway there. You know what the boots I find the hardest to... to stop buying? No, to store. Shh. Yeah, but it's, it's a lot easier if you put them inside each other. I don't like buying boots because they get so dirty. Especially the fluffy ones. I know. It's, 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 it's but the fluffy ones are so nice. They're nice for the first time you wear them. And like the first time after you wash them. Right, I'm doing fluffy boots on this level. And then those boots on that level. So this is Popcorn's hair collar that he came with, but I actually think we're gonna to have to chuck this. No! Look, can you see this? Can you see how how gross this is now? Yeah, but it's the hair collar he came with, so we're keeping it. Vintage. Like your lead rope. <laughs> These could literally actually fit cloudy. They're like that small. That's this tiny. is... Wait, let me get a popcorn size boot. This is popcorn's usual size boot. And this is like, um, <laughs> look. Yeah. I think we should um, give these um, hand-me-down boots to Cloudy. Cloudy's getting all the hand-me-downs. Right, I, I put a load in the wash yesterday, all the head collars, so I'm gonna go get them now. Oh, perfect, Grandad. This red lead rope goes with um, this red head collar, but that might need redoing a bit because it's. Where's it clip into? Um, just the hoop. That one. Yep. I hear mother. Right, I've got more. <laughs> head collar. Oh my god. Yeah, but I still think there's some in the hall, but I can't find that really nice Kentucky one. But he has worn it recently, hasn't he? Hmm. It must be in the horse box. We've got too many head collars. <sighs> no such thing. There's too many head collars. No. The real question is, saddle pads or head collars? Wait, we've definitely got more saddle pads. No, but like, what if you had to choose, like you could only buy more saddle pads. Ooh, saddle or pads. Or only more head collars. Saddle pads. Really? I mean, head collars, yeah, they're nice. But if you've just got one and it's not, like, I could live with this. I could live with this head collar. You could live with just Why one. did we get this head collar anyways? Mum, why did we get this yeah, head collar? Pony mag shoot. Oh. So he's actually got his watermelon one. It's in the horse box. We need to go get that. I definitely know that's in there. Right. I think I'm going to have time to ride. What's your favourite Lemieux colour? All of them. All of them. <laughs> Good answer. Paolo, what's your favourite Lemieux colour? I'd say it was Carmen. <laughs> All of them? Yep. Like a towel. Too many good colours, isn't it? Mum there? doesn't like the Dijon, though. I, don't, I do like the Dijon, but not on. We're missing our a white. Oh, wait. Yeah. 
So we've got a lovely package from Lemieux here and we're going to unbox it all up. So, oh yeah, <laughs> we've got some carbon air cross country boots. We've got the front and the back in case we go through the water or anything. So we'll put, your, put it all on the side then we'll put it all away. Anastasia's writing her test on our dressage thing. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Where did I get it from? I got it on eBay. Oh. Did you actually, Mum? Yep. What is this? Oh, that is to get f hair off of, of saddle pads. Oh. Okay, I think I might test that out. In one of them? Oh, no, cloudy stuff at his yard. We organised it yesterday. Hey, do you want any, any noise here, darling? <laughs> do you have yeah. Stuff for yeah, he's got lots of stuff, yeah. Like, the, like Um, no, He's only got, he's got quite a few rugs, He's got actually. five saddle pads. He's getting the mini linear. It's good for a little guy. I know. Let's see if this amaze brush works. So we bought this little gadget at Badminton and it's supposed to get all the hair off of your saddle pads. So we thought let's try it out because this saddle pad I don't think can be any hairier. So let's see if it works. Got a nice big hairy patch here. Is it working? I don't know. It actually is working. Oh my gosh. You see you brush really hard. Oh my gosh. Look at all of that. Keep going then. I feel this way. It's yeah. very satisfying, yeah. I mean, it's a lot easier t than putting it in the wash. <laughs> wow. Pock on you, malt. So it is four hours later since we started this organising, what I'm going to call challenge, because it's been a challenge, hasn't it, Mum? It's been yeah. not difficult, but we've just had to, in some parts, just make things work, basically. So I'm going to give you a mini tour of our tack room. So we're starting off here with, we've got a bareback pad, our spare girths, half pads and then we've got Pop One's saddle pad that he came with and then just our showing brown pads that we use for showing. Then we've got his really nice fluffy head collars and this is one of my favourite parts because it literally looks like a mini tack shop. We have the head collar rack. It is a saddle rack but we've, you can kind of see it here, we've kind of transformed it into a head collar rack. So we've got lots of head collars and the lead ropes are all tidied up down here. We've done all of like the little lead rope trick. But yeah, we've also got all of our spare bridles up here. We've got my bitless bridle um, and just some spare bridle bodies. We're still using the table. I've put all my whips here. His polo wraps are in here. So all the gloves are organised and I've got some nice... Raquel gloves, we've got some white Lemieux ones. I've got my brown one, which should be with the other brown one. But we've got some navy gloves, and then we've just got some black gloves. We've got my showing boots here, body protectors here. We've got all of our polo wraps here. Um, we've got a sink there. We've got our Equilibrium massage pad. And then I actually 
I did not know we had this many fluffy boots. Um, but yeah, we've got all of, we've sectioned it off. We've got all of our kind of non-fluffy boots here and our carbon boots. And then we've got all the fluffy boots there. On the shelf, there are all the hat silks and all of our, um, oh, ear bonnets. I forgot what they were called then. <laughs> but yeah, we've got our spare rug bags and then moving, oh yeah, we've just got loads of spare bits and bobs there. And now we've got all of our coolers, shampoos, fly stuff. And then on the next shelf, there are the hoof oils, spare brushes, lickets, and then we've got our plaiting stuff, hairbands, and then we've got Popcorn's whitening his socks paste. And then on this shelf, there are all the main, like silky mane and tail. We've got the rug wash, scissors, because every equestrian needs scissors because I don't know, we just, there are so many things that you need scissors for. And then we've got some treats on this shelf, some more nose bands, which is a bit crazy. We've got some bits in here. We've got the clipping stuff and our pony jet. Um, and then on this shelf, we've got the brow bands. We've got all our lovely brow bands in there. Then on this shelf, we've got more spare bridle parts, which is a bit insane. I think we have a bit too many bridles. Um, but then underneath the table here, whilst we're down here, we've got, we've just got other spare bits in here. Um, so ignore the polo wraps. Um, we've got a spare laundry basket. We've got Popcorn's hay ball. And then we've got all of these blocks for raised trotting poles. And then over here on the top shelf, there are rugs, bottom shelf rug, well, his show rugs and our dressage pads. On this shelf, we've got more rugs and an exercise sheet with all of our Loire GP cuts. And then on this shelf, we've got all of our suede GP cuts. And then here, he's got a turnout rug. And then in here, he's got all of his fly gear. Yeah, so that is our organizing vlog. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. It has been a pretty much like tackling a monster this is. I thought when we walked in here first, I thought, how are we gonna do this by the end of the day? I thought it was gonna take us like two days to complete it, but no, we did it in four or five hours? Four hours. Four hours, which is actually quite good. Exactly four hours. Exactly four hours. Oh my gosh, that is... That's quite an achievement. Yeah. We didn't get um, that much help. Either, no, we? we just had Grandad and he helped with bits and bobs and he moved this yeah, he in said here. It all out. We couldn't have done it um, without him. No, because yeah, we needed to unscrew this to fit both of these in here. Um, we dettled down the whole entire container. Hoovered it all out twice. Yeah, we hoovered it all out twice. Cleaned and, all the floors as well. Yeah, so it has just been. A busy day. Yeah, it's been a very, very busy day and I hope you enjoyed watching today's vlog and I will see you soon. Bye!